Hey Ben, have you ever heard of DIY? Yes I have. Good, because we're going to try out some of those today. I'm literally not expecting any of these to actually improve my life in any way, shape or form, but you know, you don't know until you try. So this is a pizza box briefcase. Seems pretty basic, so we just need to get a pizza and a pizza box, cut it up a little bit, fold it over, add a little bit of string, and there you go. Why would anybody use that? He's wearing quite a smart shirt, smart jeans, and he's just carrying around a suitcase made out of a pizza box. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good on anybody. If you want to look bad in public, this is how you do it. So first things first, we need a pizza. There's one in here somewhere. Ha! Pizza. Don't ask me how old it is. There is a hair on the pizza. Already a bit of a turn off, but let's make this briefcase. Step number one, cut off the top of the box. They did it with a lot more finesse than me. And admittedly a lot quicker. The video was like 30 seconds long. This is gonna take me like half an hour, I bet. Run the blade down about halfway. So just loosen up the box there. Cut the ends like that. Pizza, you better fit. Jesus Christ, if you don't fit. Oh no, I've done this terribly wrong. Okay, now, here at Looted, we don't do things by the book. Corner, get in, don't be that guy. There it is. That sits like that, with the pizza in there. Put your string through there. Do you ever just sit there and wonder why you're doing certain things? Maybe that's why they call it DIY. Oh, it makes sense now. And just like that, you've got your slightly greasy pizza box briefcase. A night out on the town, just walking around. It's like a clutch bag more than anything else really, isn't it? Let's brand this up a little bit. You're totally legit. Gucci clutch bag. Oh, it's disgusting. I know it's two weeks old, but it, it didn't deserve that thing. Now it may be the ugliest thing I have ever seen and I don't know who would be caught dead outside with this thing, I know I wouldn't be, but at least it works. At least you can carry it about and it seems actually fairly secure. Please, you were telling us how secure it is. At least the piece of hair fell off. You're going for the good slice. No, I you... wanted some sauce. Oh, some right. Yeah. Oh. Let's put spare cheese there. That was one of the grossest things I've ever seen you do. And on to the next one, the latest in life hacks. So we've got a pair of pants, she's cut the hole out of the crutch and she's made it into a t-shirt. Wow, innovation incarnate. And she's taken a phone and put it in the crutch hole. I actually don't know the name of that hole. Well, I would never have thought of doing that in a thousand years and nor should anyone really, but yeah, here we are, about to give it a go. With a bit of an adjustment there. And went around the back. Ugh. It's a shame too, because these are my good pants. I like these ones, as you can see, well worn. It pains me to do this to your underwear, but I'm about to cut a hole in you. Sorry. All right, let's hope I don't get this wrong, because this would be a waste of perfectly good pants otherwise. I've got a pretty thick neck, so I feel like I need to go quite big on the hole. Ooh, ooh, it's real thin on that. This has turned into more of like a workout vest than anything else. Well, that was nice and simple to set up, so I think the only thing left to do is, Ben, dress me. Well. This is happening. Nothing like a fine Sunday afternoon to be wearing your pants on your torso. Sometimes I wish we just never made videos, you know? No, I would never have to get in these situations and then put them on the internet. Unfortunately, I don't have any earphones, so we're gonna have to stick with headphones. Just straight up insert your phone in there. You know what? That doesn't not work. Kind of wish I had one. Your birthday's coming up. Just ask and I'll, I could arrange. I'll cut up a pair of my pants and let you wear them on your torso. Nothing says birthday like used pants on your chest. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I can pull this off. Ben, in your honest opinion, can I rock this look? Do we have a HR department? Sadly, no. Well, now the most embarrassing one's out of the way. On to the third one. Why pour your drink when you could do this? Okay, so you take the Coke can, put a hole in the side, hot glue gun a straw to it, and put a balloon over the top, and then the air from the balloon. Wow, that looks massively pointless. So we've got a can of Coke a straw, a hot glue gun, a balloon, and a scalpel, which my therapist has advised me to stay at least 10 meters away from at all times. Ben, is that stab wound healed yet? Nearly. Good to hear. Step number one, open the can. Put a hole in the side here. There we go, make sure it's wide enough to put a straw in and just make sure to add some metal shards into your Coke while you're doing it, you know, just to add some peril to your drink. And then fill up the hole with hot glue. There you go, nothing's getting out of that. <sighs> Now this is the part that confuses me because somehow we managed to blow up the balloon and then get this over the top of the can. And I feel like that's easier said than done. Ben, I might need another pair of hands to get this over. You pinch. Okay. Oh, I'll stretch. Okay, cool. It's not the first time you've ever said that to me. It's over, it's over. All right, moment of truth.
that's our bad. It's not It's not the life hack's fault. No matter how useless it is, we're the ones who did it wrong. You're the one who did it wrong. Shut up, Ben. All new straw. Now just push it further down. The straw is already dripping, so I think this is already better than last time. So if I just let go, it works. Ha ha! I've already spilled a little bit, but it's looking good. And there you have it. The life hack you never knew you wanted until today. If I squeeze the balloon, would it go quicker? Hey, it's like a bodge jobbed bar tap. All the coke taste and only a fair bit of mess. And we're on to our final life hack of the day. It is grilled cheese sandwiches made with an iron. Ben, did you pick this one? So you literally just take two slices of bread, put your cheese in the middle, no butter or anything, wrap it in foil, and then cook it with an iron, and it comes out perfectly grilled. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work at all. I think we're just gonna end up with soggy bread. Oh, I just realized there's music with this video. There's a lot more eating going on today than I expected. We've already had pizza and now I'm making toasties. What's next? You're just gonna put that straight on the dirty table. You were scraping tomato sauce off the table only 10 minutes ago. Two slices of cheddar cheese. Oh God, this has gone a bit melty. It's kind of a bit disgusting. Imagine walking into your local greasy spoon and seeing them prepare a grilled cheese sandwich like this. So that's one tin foiled wrapped sandwich. And now we get our leaky iron. Oh man. This is the last time I spend six quid on an iron. How quick does it heat up? Fairly quick. And then according to the video, we just press down and we's a cooking. Is that Jar Jar Binks reference? How long do you? I don't know, Ben. I, it didn't specify how long I should iron each side. So I'm just yeah, gonna blag it. I thought I would ask, how long do you iron the sandwich for? You're right, that is a weird question. <laughs> it is starting to smell like a toasty. Side number two, the other side is actually feeling pretty good right now. If this works, this might be a game changer. You know what would make this more efficient? two irons or you could just buy a toasty maker what table that is that is how this goes wrong let's see what 15 minutes of ironing got us and we have a flat piece of bread with melted cheese in the middle admittedly listen to this that is toasted ever so slightly oh actually if i flip this around oh look at that some brown on there there we go this is actually toasted oh that was disgusting <laughs> That is a very depressing looking sandwich. Note to yourself, use better cheese. Also note to yourself, don't iron your sandwich. I don't know why use better cheese came first before thinking about not using an iron. But in all fairness, the iron did work a lot better than expected. Ben, do you want to taste the sandwich? You enjoying our sandwich, Ben? Mm. Yeah, good? Average. Everything I do in life, I aim for average. So that's good to hear. I'm just gonna wrap up this half of you, Ben, and you can have that for the ride home. Don't say I never gave you anything. Well, you did give me that stab wound. Yeah, well, and that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like this video, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I've also got my own personal Twitter if you want to follow me on there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Really, we need a HR department.